Shalom. And we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechach, Radash. Never want to see apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations and blessings to you sincere brothers out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Hey, I'm the brother Shaman. I'm the brother Yakuzah Moth. Kind of got the brother Yakuzah Moth here with me. And uh, we were just speaking on uh, spiritual topics and uh, the journey that uh, us as the Israelites have undergone, not just, you know, our journey here in America, but ever since, you know, 70 AD when we were had to, had to flee from Jerusalem, which uh, a lot of these so-called Jews, they don't even know the history on how they won the war against the Romans. And here we are back in Rome reincarnated, you know, being persecuted by the same people again. Uh, calling on the Heavenly Father for, for, for mercy to escape from this place. That's right. Okay. Start it off with precept, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because I will surely come, it will not tarry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Though it will tarry, wait for it. I mean, the times were all kind of prophecies kicking off, man. It's no longer really tarrying. It was tarrying maybe 10 years ago, eight years ago, but it's no longer really tarrying like that, man. You know, and and if you've been around for that long, you've been waiting on it, you see that, man. You see, like, so much is happening now, so much nuclear missile talk, RFID microchip implant talk, oh, sloppy, yeah, talk, and they're talking about implanting people with those, man, which that's the mark of the beast, man. You know what I'm saying? It, we at the end, man. Oh, it's Terry Wave, it's been a, it's been a journey. It's been a bitch, you know. <laughs> they go on. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. It went off or just no, it's just uh, yeah. okay, okay. Slack, yeah, keep touching. It's been a bitch, but we got to keep on holding on, keep on pushing on, man. You know what I'm saying? Be like the little engine that could because right now we look small to the world, like nothing, you know. Our numbers are few, but the numbers supposed to be few. The Lord said He only got 144,000 chosen men. That's the little engine that could. We in the we in the uphill climb against this wicked society, man. You know, it's like David versus Goliath. But David, who won? David, the Lord's anointed. That's right. It's, it's millions of Israelites not here, just here in the states, but worldwide. Out of millions of Israelites worldwide, you got Israelites coming out of. You know, you got. Just look at uh, you got Kobe Bryant. You know, he was born in Italy. Came over here. You got a, another dude, the, the Greek freak. His name is the Greek freak, but he's an Israelite. So you got our people, you know, they just come out the woodwork from all over the planet, mm -hmm. right? South America, people are coming out of that place. We're starting to see a lot more Northern Kingdom uh, up where we're at in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is gathering us, you know, for that final, that final hour, that final judgment. That's right. Yeah, 144,000 to 12,000 every try. That's not a lot. That's it's, right. it's what. Uh, and, and I. 12,000 each, 144. Right, right. right. Well, in our city, uh, city of St. Louis, is what? Uh, maybe a million people in the greater area or something like that. So that's, that's really not a lot. It's a lot at all. God. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tight, you know, and that's what, that's what brothers go so hard and we try to. Uh, prophesy against the wicked so hard because you know we want to see all of our people saved, even though the Lord only has appointed a certain number of positions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would love to say uh, see all our people saved, but like the brother said, the Lord only appointed yeah. certain men, and they're gonna save a few because you know most of our people don't want to get right now. They just don't, no matter what, man. But most I can come out the sky today and come talk to these niggas, telling them they they still won't get right. You know, they won't get right, man. So it's only that elect, man. Let's see. <clears throat> this, uh, it's locking. My phone keeps freezing. Matthews 11. Okay, 11 and 28. Come on to me, all ye that are that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and I am lowly, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Mm. The Lord said his yoke is easy, but it's only easy to the elect, man. Mm. It can be a bitch at times, but it's easy overall. 
You know, it's easy overall because the Lord said, "What? Well, he won't give us more than what we can handle." Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah, well, it's not like we're getting you know physical whip on our back. Everything now is just a, it's just a financial burden. It's, you know, it's still a burden on you, but you know, the Lord, it, it could have been <laughs> under the the most evil people in the history of this planet. It could have been. It could be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. Like that, we're not getting lynched anymore. You know, still Esau still pull up and shoot you in the back, but yeah. you know, at, at least now, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a worldwide audience watching the shit. So, you know, he has to kind of pretend like he's fair at least. Mm -hmm. So, turn. yeah, it's mostly financial, but there's things in the body too. Like me myself, you probably see me squinting and all that, and kind of looking away from the camera. I got an eye infection going on, serious one, but hey, it's still easy at the end of the day. The Lord can totally blind me, whatever you want to do, you know? The Lord can cripple you, the Lord can kill you, the Lord can have you fall off a damn, you might work on ladders or whatever, the Lord can have you fall off that ladder and just you dash into pieces on the ground. Mm, shit. You can fly through a windshield, you know, get cut in half. It's easy at the end of the day, man, you know, to the elect. Okay. Uh, brother, brothers, put uh, put prayers up for this brother, you know, for his situation. He's gonna get better, so he's gonna he's gonna get on the her herbs and stuff. But yeah, like brother was reading, man, this is this is a this is a this is a, a light affliction. I said this really isn't that that crazy, even though you know it can it can seem <laughs> it can seem that way. it can seem that. But hey, the scriptures read what. No, uh, Paul said he learned to be a bound and to be a base, you know, so at a certain point, you know, when you're up, you know, you're up and then you're down and you're down, but then, you know, as you go on, you know, you begin to become more and more balanced, mm -hmm. you know, you, you gain the wisdom of uh, what to do in certain situations that can try to balance things out, mm -hmm. and that's why all these people right now, they're on pills and shit, and you got, the, with pills, you got what, uppers and downers or whatever, and they're completely fucking mentally unbalanced because they're trusting in that thing. Hey, but we trust in, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, to, to uplift us. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And I wanted to say something about how today you have the technology era where everything is tech technology it's like technological. Everything is techno everything is easier nowadays than what it was in the past. So we ain't going through as hard as the ancient apostles and prophets had in the past, man. You know, so things got easier over time, and I just want to show you some examples. Paul, real quick. This is Second Corinthians eleven and twenty-two. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shah? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, more in labors, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent. I ain't been to prison yet over this truth. Lord willing, don't go. <laughs> he said, labor is more abundant and stripes above me. I ain't got whipped yet for it. People strike me with the tongue. People, I'm pretty sure strike this brother with the tongue. That's nothing. And prisons more frequent and deaths often. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. Mm -hmm. I ain't been through none of this, man. You been through? No, no. Been in no devotion. In journeys, journeys often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, Jake. In perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils amongst false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, and watch watchings often in hunger and in thirst. And fastens often in cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak? And I am not weak. Who is offended? And I burn not. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which cometh concern my infirmities. Exactly. So I'm gonna go up one more. Go up. It says verse 28. Besides those things that are without. That which cometh up on me daily, the curve of all the churches. So, you got to curve for the brothers, man. Besides all the bullshit, Satan get in your head, try to get you to stop, quit, try to get you to say fuck everybody and walk away. Oh, we got to curve for the church. Who are the churches, man? The elect, the brothers. 
you know? It could be a rough journey sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be like it never. It's gonna be in the past, like a dream, man. Like it never happened. And the Lord said he will not cast away. Uh, I want. I want to say, uh, was it kind of okay, a perfect man? Mm -hmm. kind of. He won't. Yeah, he won't. He won't cast you away if you're a profitable servant. So hey, the brothers have been, you know, profitable. It's been. It's been more people waking up. More. More people coming to the comment board. More people. Coming out by the camp, mm -hmm. hey, just in the time I've been here, more people who already know what the Israelites saw. When I kind of woke up, you said the Israelites. They're like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> now, now it's like a mainstream thing. Everybody's talking about us. Everybody's trying to throw us in the mix. You know, the rappers trying to rap about us, and they're trying to put us, you know, with ADOS and, and the, the nation of Islam. But you know, we're completely different, of course. But yeah, it's just, it's, they, they care for the church. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot of secret disciples out there. Oh, God. You got a lot of secret followers of the truth out there, man. Like, uh, what's that I sent y'all about the T.I. and um, Kenneth Owens? Oh, yeah, yeah, All the big debate, Killer Mike. Killer Mike. T.I. was like, hey, we don't have a nationality. We, we, we don't, we haven't been classified, we haven't been classified as anything. African American is not a nationality, black is a nationality. Uh, Where do you get them talking points from? <laughs> yep. Who else saying that besides the yeah. I think Jay Morrison said it too at the end. Oh, too. okay. Yeah. I still need to watch that too. Yeah. You know, so we almost home, man. The truth is out there. Yeah. Hey, so that's yeah. gonna go ahead. Yeah, you had yeah, Kanye, which he's a he's a fool. But he tried to he tried to incorporate the four hundred year thing. See, you know, and mm -hmm. now people are, are following him once again. He just came out with it. Um, it's, it was a it was a few months back when he was okay. talking about that. But that's what, kind of what led him to this whole little Sunday service thing. And you know, it's a it's a ploy. You know, because rappers do that too. They start to do gospel mm -hmm. and, and all because they know they you know been wicked the whole time, but. Is people they have to try to come on over and borrow from uh, the vibration that the Israelites are pushing for them to you know make some noise. There. Mm -hmm. Nobody nobody wants to hear you know trap music and uh, you know nobody want to hear that shit. Mm -hmm. Little kids who don't know, but nobody's really on that vibe anymore. Everything's about nationality, ownership, and, and shit. That's what Jake wants. It's, it's the only way we're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing Jake's little posters on uh, Facebook and shit to myself. Oh, one day I'm gonna own a piece of the world. Mm. Just regular Jake. Probably don't even know nothing about the truth. That's spiritual because one day they will own pieces of the world and pieces of the universe. You know, the world was created for their sakes. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we're under these curses, but we can't come up under this junk. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think it says that too. Uh, everything was created for the elect's sake. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I get what we just quoted. Second over. Second over six. So I can. Six and fifty six. Second address six and it's locked, it's locked. Yeah. Hey, cause ultimately, you know, all of that stuff is good and you know, learning real estate and, and business and all of that stuff is cool, but ultimately you're gonna work for Esau. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be you're gonna have to do business with him and stuff that he stole and got for free. So they're gonna make a profit on top of the money that they already made. You can never catch up to them because they, they that's that's what happens when you steal. <laughs> you get shit for free. <laughs> and if you stole billions of dollars, trillions of dollars worth of shit, I mean, you print the money, you give the money out, you know, you regulate everything, you charge interest on, on the money you loan out, you're gonna be rich. You're gonna be rich forever. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures say what? Uh, because um, because of violence, because uh, um, the, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. 
I think another verse says, uh, because of riches gotten deceitfully. And this man, they, everything you got is deceit. It's mm -hmm. through deceit. Now, how can that be the, uh, the how can that be the Arabs or some shit? This is second at you six and fifty five. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Mm -hmm. As for the other people which also come to Adam, thou hast said that they are as nothing, but be like on the spittle, and as like on the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Mm -hmm. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have been reputed as nothing have become to be lords over us and to devour us. Mm. God, lords over us. Yeah, the, 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 the damn you go to the uh, people go to the nail salon and they go to all these different businesses under the heathen. They get slapped around and beat up and all of this other shit. These people are like lords over us. I was, I was reading figures on Iran's oil. They got, you know, they selling all these different uh, $100,000 barrels of oil and all this shit. They said it's spittle. They ain't, they ain't shit. Mm -hmm. But all that stuff. And they said they've been reputed as nothing, a reputation of nothingness. Mm -hmm. You're nothing compared to the nation of Israel. Y'all reputations does not compare to the Israelites. We are nothing. And it shows today, even though we under our curses, it shows, man. We just better you in every aspect. That's why they come over here and join up against us and they cahoot in cahoots against us, man. Because they see Yahweh in us. They see Yahweh shine in us, man. They see the glory of the Most High in our face, man. You know? They, see, they know about us, man. You know? Hey, this journey, man, it... it, it we almost at the end of it, man. You know, you get your ups and downs in it, but it is what it is. Come with the territory. That's right. It's the Lord sending us to that fire, man. You know, purifying us, making us whole. You know? God, so hey, it's it's a it's the it's a journey, but hey, it's a journey worth doing. Mm -hmm. It's a thing worth doing. So if you're you know if you're watching. You're learning, or, or you know, whatever your situation might be. Hey, it's time for you to, to start to jump out. For you to come out to a camp, you know, meet out should be a, you know a, a great millstone camp if uh, if you really want the, the most thorough brothers in Israel. But you know, because a lot of brothers from other camps, they might be part of the elect too once they wake up to the hundred percent of the truth. Hey, it's, it's it's time for us to finish this journey because we're at the end. Mm -hmm. and, and, and all this shit is going down and you know you want to make sure that that you is like me man i want to i'm part of the hopeful like i want to be one of the elect lord willing me too God, lord <laughs> willing, God, lord willing. I'm lord willing all the brothers who put their life on the line mm -hmm. so, okay. Right. Okay, so with that being said man lord willing this was edifying for you just a quick impromptu uh Really, really, uh, brothers, really trying to get into the spirit, really trying to focus, you know, really trying to use everything that we can, you know, that this man has given us, you know, because we have to go to him for the one of all things, but using that to the best of our ability to push forth this truth, mm -hmm. right, through, through the videos, through getting together, through, through whatever means. So, you know, if you have anything you want to contribute to the ministry, please do so, you know, as soon as you get a chance to. And uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. And hey, shut up, shut up.